The Art Institute of Chicago is one of the world's premier cultural institutions. Unfortunately, for Chicago residents, it had become an invisible icon. They were taken for granted some of the most powerful art collections right in their own city. Our job was to get the Art Institute back into the conversation and back on the cultural radar. So in December of 2009, instead of trying to drive Chicagoans into the Art Institute, the Art Institute went out to them. To fuel a year-long exhibit, 500 Ways of Looking at Modern, the Red Cube Project was launched, spreading the surprise and delight of a visit to the Art Institute out to 500 new locations, literally. The Red Cube Project was simple, 500 cubes, each one designed to be a 3D Art Institute logo, were placed around the city for unsuspecting Chicagoans to find. Each cube had a URL, a number, and a password. Once registered online, the finder of the cube was given an art project to complete. Most of the cubes were small. Some of the cubes were large. As for the art projects, well, people were asked to create their own version of Art Institute classics, or leave their cube on a train for others to discover, or make a video. I found cube number 197, so I made an 11 key tongue drum out of this cube. Or sell their cube on eBay, pass their cube on to Facebook friends, or locate a cube using only Twitter. They were asked to document a particular hour. Even a local radio station participated by collecting a 500 songs of modern playlist. There were traveling cubes. Oh, the traveling cubes. There was a place to share and discuss the progress of each project at a site dedicated to documenting all 500 cubes, tracking their finders and their followers. To keep activity and conversations around the cubes going, lost cube flyers and a missing cube video were created, asking people to look for the cubes still out there somewhere. The response was immediate. 78 of the cubes were activated within the first 48 hours. Of all the people that found cubes, over 60% played along. And those who didn't could make their own cube right there on the site. The campaign surprised and delighted thousands of Chicagoans. And as a result, paid attendance went up significantly. Not only did the Red Cubes get the Art Institute back into the civic conversation and on Chicagoans' radar again, it literally got people back into the museum by culminating with an exhibit of the submissions at the museum's beautiful new modern wing. By taking art out and putting it in Chicagoans' hands, we brought them back in. And a cultural institution woke Chicagoans back up again to the power of art right here in their own city.